Hello, hello, and welcome back for another long march through the streets, farms, and laundromats of the world as we once again embark on a campaign to save mankind from alien invasion. Because despite the fact that we only very recently defeated the aliens, those pernicious bastards are back, and this time, they're angrier than ever. Now, when last we saved humanity, of course, we employed a crack team of Hollywood's super elite, the creme de la creme of the Los Angeles movie scene, and even that still required that we make the greatest sacrifice mankind has ever made. Little Lindsay Lohan was forced to lay down both her bottle of gin and her life in order to protect the Earth from the predator-style fuck-everyone-but-me self-destruct failsafe installed in the temple ship. And though it was a glorious triumph for both Lindsay and humanity, it proved to be a short-lived triumph, because here it is mere months since the destruction of the first temple ship, and a new one has already appeared in orbit, even more dreadful and powerful than the first. It would seem that the aliens, secure in the knowledge that Lindsay's sacrifice has left mankind with no weapon capable of defeating them, are ready to launch a brand new invasion, complete with new plans, new tactics, and new, more powerful Exalt collaborators as allies. And this time, not even Hollywood legends the likes of Justin's Bieber and Timberlake will be able to thwart their scheme. Fortunately, however, our experience on the previous XCOM project gave us just enough insight into the aliens' worldview that we were able to predict this exact possibility. And so, many, many months ago, we began developing a contingency plan. Working in absolute secrecy, we began diverting resources to an ultra-secure facility deep in the tropical forests of Nigeria, where our researchers and scientists have busily labored to collect and compile DNA samples from the most brilliant, powerful, and influential humans in the history of our species. And though it bankrupted the original XCOM project, our new headquarters came online just in time to thwart this new alien menace. And so here we are. Now operating under the operational code name Project Lazarus, we stand ready once more to rescue Earth from alien invasion. We're going to use some of Dr. Valen's most powerful, and frankly unethical, scientific developments to date in order to use the meld substance to rewrite the DNA of a select group of volunteer troopers, transforming them from ordinary men and women into the champions we need to ensure the survival of our species. History's greatest shall rise, resurrected, and unite under a common cause, because the aliens this time have left us with no other recourse. This one's for the entire species, folks. It's time for the dead to walk again. So let's get started. As you can see, we're going with Long War here. This is build 15D2 for the beginning. Now, originally I had said if I was victorious in my previous campaign, I was going to play on classic difficulty, and I would hold to that rule. However, build 15 is so significantly different from the builds that I have played. I feel probably we're going to go for normal. My goal for this one took 250 episodes for our last run through. I'm going to see if I can't best that record by a reasonably wide margin. And then if our build 15 run is successful, we will then, of course, bump it up to classic and then possibly brutal and impossible, assuming our success continues to be achieved. Um, for advanced options, we're just going to go with Operation Progeny. Second wave options, we're not going to do any of them. I know the Dynamic War is a very popular option for second wave, but uh, I want the marathon, folks. I'm not going to go for the 13.1 uh, sticker on the back of my car. I want the one that says 26.2. That's 26.2 chrysalid heads, but that, that's what I want. Anyway, no Dynamic War. We're going full in marathon mode. So, Let's get started. Ah, the long war. It's good to be back in action. It really is. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. You know, I think if you play with the devil's sex toys, an encounter with his sword is pretty much fucking inevitable. Also, I gotta say, devil's toys would make a fantastic fucking name for like an adult superstore. Come on down to Devil's Toys. We've got everything you need. We've got magazines, videos, DVDs, marital aids, oils, supplements, and massages. Come on down to Devil's Toys. Tell them Rick sent you and get 40% off your purchase. I would shop at Devil's Toys. 
So, when a giant green thing falls out of the sky and embeds itself into the concrete, your first fucking instinct is to walk up and poke it? What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? You know what? You're getting abducted by the aliens encased in green meshy goo. Honestly, I think you fucking deserve it. I really do. I'm sorry. You're you're not a loss. No one is going to miss you, sir. If your first instinct was to walk up to the alien object and begin pawing at it stupidly, you deserve your fate. You really do. The species is better off without you, sir. Sorry. Yep, see, that's what happens. You wind up a big glob of green shit on the fucking puddle in the street. It's your own fault. Nice security camera footage. For a moment there, I thought we were at Kevin Smith's early film. Hello, Commander. What's up, Optimus Prime? In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this council... You mean by you and your Autobots, or are you talking about the other aliens? The activation of the XCOM project. The other aliens. Okay, then. I got you it. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. Well, I did okay to last time. That first. That's a lie. I wouldn't say I did okay. I got us by last time. Your this time I would like to try and perhaps do it okay. On this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. I will do, Optimus. Will do, buddy. Alright, so off we go. Looks like our first team has been pre-selected and deployed to thwart this initial Good alien luck, encounter. Commander. Luck has very little to do with it, Optimus Prime. Also, uh, just as a precursor to our relationship, I would like to tell you, Optimus, to suck my dick. Because we are not going to get along, sir. This is going to be a hate-hate relationship. And uh, I just want to preface it and make sure we get off on the right foot. Specifically, you know that I would like you to lick my genitals. All right, so I have looked through all of the various and sundry starting locations. This, again, something vastly different in Build 15 than any of the previous versions. You don't get the starting continent bonus for your continent anymore. What you start with instead is a very specific country-based bonus. Each country that you launch a satellite over will give you some subsequent bonus. Now, on the first time you get a country, of course, you do get to pick which one of these ones that you would like. We're going to be starting in Nigeria. In Nigeria, rather. Of course, our base is in the forest of Nigeria, which is sensible. And we're going to take the benefit that gives you all soldiers receive plus one mobility. Just something to keep a, an eye on. Of course, like say, say we had chosen to start in South Africa, we would instead start with alien metallurgy and advanced salvage projects as a bonus. If we pick this, we would get it. But if we launch a satellite over South Africa, we will get one of the other bonuses or one of the random bonuses in the case of countries like Mexico here that have three. We'll be starting in Nigeria, though. Plus one mobility really is fantastic. I do like troopers who are fast on their feet. I think this is going to be our best bonus and a chance to get reasonable continent bonuses as well. Also, this uh, a very small continent with only three locations. And the Egyptian bonuses, if you want to take a look at those very quickly, the Egyptian bonuses are actually quite beneficial as well. So you can start with Advanced Repair Project. Most likely the one we'll get is Fatigue from Psi Powers and Gene Mods and Officer Ranks goes down by 50%. I kind of like that one. And it'll dovetail nicely with our extra mobility. Mostly, though, really, I'm just in it for the mobility. So let's get to work. Operation Listen, Devil's Gaze. Be you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. I wouldn't say you're dropping us there so much as we live there, Bradford. Have you forgotten where you live? Area. Jesus Christ, man, we just started this, and you're already styles. fucking that drunk that you can't remember where you live, Bradford? Ah, good sweet lord. I had thought that several months between invasions gave you time to go to a rehabilitation facility and get the help that you so desperately need, but clearly, you're back on the bottle, aren't you, Bradford? Yeah, that's what we should have expected. I mean, the guy was doing great for a little while, and then bam, alien invasion hits, and suddenly it's relapse city for Bradford. Free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Poor guy. I, I honestly, chances. I feel kind of sorry for the guy. I really do. Ah, so we have some troopers here. Of course, these fine men and women will eventually be transformed into some of history's most noteworthy men and women. But uh, what we've got going now, they have yet to undergo Dr. Valen's secret I, I special recipe, so they'll be Lola Olat Katan for the current time until we get a chance to train them. All right, so we have vision on one alien. You know, 41% chance for rookies is not shameful. I'm going to go ahead and take this. Lola does not deliver, so what we had hoped would be a promising career for young Lola turns out may not be uh, as, you know, as glorious as we had uh, originally anticipated or hoped. Did we hit a guy? 
Yeah, it's a little early to start with the grenades, isn't it? Um, I'm not going to let that slow me down any at all, though. I will absolutely go ahead and start with the grenades. Doesn't look like we're going to get a shot, though, so we'll just go ahead and put him on Overwatch. We're going to dash a unit to here. That way we can step out and potentially have another good shot, as well as remain in full cover. Do a similar action here. We're going to, of course, try and play a little bit more speedy, take advantage of our troopers' increased mobility. But we don't want to do anything just completely foolish or suicidal, so caution is still somewhat the watchword of the day. 40% is not terrible. I'm going to take it. For a rookie, 40% is okay. Ooh. First gamble pays off. Well, actually, theoretically, that was our second gamble, but still it paid off. We should look closely for any fragments and so we got one overwatching sectoid, another overwatching sectoid. Now, it's uh, important for me to remember specifically that I don't have any fucking scouts. No scouts. No scouts means no overwatch. That's the only guy you can see, huh? Who can you see? You actually have a not unreasonable shot at that guy. 40%. I mean, it's not, it's not good by any stretch of the imagination, but it's also not terrible. What do you got, Davis? 38, which frankly is not good enough. That grenade is going to do fuck all. Who can you see? 40% of that guy for Isayeva. This chick is a fucking crack shot here. We're going to let her take it. Oh, no good. All right. Well, it was worth uh, it was worth an effort. Worth a uh, was worth a uh, worth a chance. All right, Kunya. I can't believe you can't see that guy. Let's have you take your 42% then. No dice. Wow, things are not going well so far for Team XCOM here. This guy has two shots. Yeah, well, we really can't do anything but go ahead and take these shots. I mean, they've got us on Overwatch, so it's not like we can fall back or try and reposition, really. Probably going to have that unit go on Overwatch. I think Briere here is going to go ahead and take a poke. you got to be kidding me, guys. We've taken like five 40% shots, and we've got the Ofer going here. I think one of you probably... Should uh, at least have, you know what, we're going to have you probably. Yeah, it's a little early for grenades, isn't it, Pete? It's never too early for grenades. Never forget that rule. That is the rule. Say what you want. It is never too early to blow up an alien with a grenade. Yeah. You know what, Dr. B? You and I have worked together for nearly a year now, and I would think that by this point you would have caught on to the fact that... I am not overly cautious when it comes to the employment of explosive devices and alien bodies. I will drop those sons of bitches pretty much in an instant. I have no qualms about blowing shit up. Ready to rock. Now, this early in a game, of course, it's I would prefer time. not to explode things if at all possible, Got but well, that sometimes you don't really have that as an option now, do we, Dr. Valen? We're going to take a reconsolidation turn, just uh, do a little bit of overwatching and some very cautious advances. We have go. no vision on any of the enemies, so I have no problems with uh, taking a turn or two to get everybody reloaded and reset. Would have liked to get Isayeva there uh, a chance to reload. She's our only one to have hit anything with a projectile weapon thus far. Proving her, I guess, the early candidate for team champion. So still nothing, huh? I have to assume one of the aliens is on Overwatch. We should be able to get here without drawing any Overwatch. Right? That's because apparently there's none to be drawn. We're going to have Isayeva go ahead and reload. Do some of these guys have SMGs? Is that why their aim is so fucking terrible? Moving. That looks... It is. She has a carbine. No wonder these guys can't hit shit. Who equipped these goons? What monkey made me a straight fighter? Uh, Alright, I'm a little salty. Now, of course, this out of my control. I have no no options here as far as gear goes for this particular mission. I'm just... I get what I get, folks. Sort of like the genetic lottery when you're born. You just kind of get what you get. You don't get to pick your nose or, you know, what color eyes you're going to have or how much hair or what color hair you're going to have. You just get what you get. And if you don't like it, bug and lump it. Or go visit a talented surgeon and change it. It's also an option. I would love to have a battle scanner. I would also love to have a couple extra troopers. Moving to position. I'd also love to be independently wealthy and considerably more handsome than I am. Cool. I mean, while I'm wishing for shit, I might as well go big. Love to have a winning Powerball ticket. Let's uh, let's go for that. 
Uh, this is such a dead... I really hate this area because it's such a fucking no man's land. There is no safe way to traverse this little region here. Also, we're going to be going into pretty much unexplored territory regardless of what we do. So odds are we're going to wind up uh, cracking a pod. Let's have Kowalski forward. I am amazed that Kowalski did not draw overwatch fire there. We're going to have uh, Yarim, I'm going to guess. Yeah, whatever. Free air, get up there and keep your buddy company. See if some of these alien pricks won't come into our overwatch. They're trying to bait us back into another pod is what they're doing. They're trying to clever girl us, but we're not going to be clever girl. Oh no, sir, aliens. I will not be clever girl. I saw Jurassic Park. I know how that shit works. You're not going to clever girl me. I'm on it, Commander. You think you're a clever girl, but you're not. You're not a clever girl. I feel, Commander. This sucks. This unit has no nowhere safe to be. Let's see if we can maybe get eyes on the enemy. Kowalski, I'm really relying on you quite heavily here, buddy. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So, clever girl through no fault of our own, really. We do have a flank shot, which means that we might actually be able to hit something. Right, Kowalski, go ahead and take that shot. There you go. Kowalski getting himself a kill. Nicely done, Kowalski. I regret having brought you on the mission less. I still, of course, deeply regret the fact that you were given a terrible, terrible weapon with which to operate, but them's the brakes. We do have a trooper who has a flashbang. We should keep that in mind. That flashbang has potential uses. Please tell me she can see... Nope. Wow, we have no way to sort of get any additional support to our guys. Alright. I'm on the move. Well, Lakatan, get ahead forward here. We're worried about that drone. We're going to try and discourage it from moving forward with some quality overwatching. I hate this move. I also hate this move. But we don't have any choice at this point. We've got to advance. I would love to hunker down at the end of this, but I really don't think that's going to be an option. Now, this early in the game, a drone is... I mean, it's not like late game where a drone is, will just sometimes willingly let them shoot you. A drone is still a threat here. Uh, we've got a mine merge, all right. So, bonus health, which, again, this early in the game, that extra one point of health does make these aliens significantly more difficult to kill. All right, so it doesn't look like the drone's going to advance, or if it is, it's... I have no idea what that drone is doing. Isayeva's going to take a long shot here. She did not connect, but that's okay. It was an overwatch shot, so... She's not our... She may be our best gun so far. We're, we're not really sure. Even so, that was a that was a tough shot. Don't uh, don't worry about it. Don't let it get you down. Kowalski, buddy, how you feel about this? This guy, uh, you got him down to one health. Can you do it again? Nope. Oh. Yeah, maybe maybe free air can get you the assist here. There's free air. Nicely done, buddy. Free air with the assist. Then we've got two troopers who have shots at the drone. Right. Actually, that's pretty good. We're gonna take a forty-seven percent. Oh, he delivers. That's some very fine shooting there. I, I want to say Davis, but your name is not Davis. Let's not Moving. get too greedy. We still have two aliens left. 58% is reasonable. Anything better than a coin flip this early in the game oftentimes is going to be worth taking. Good to go. I'm very... Uh, yeah. I very much miss my scopes and my laser sights and my high-capacity mags. Still, got some good damage there. We might have even gotten one overflow damage on the other unit. It's not out of the question. It's not greatly likely, but it is a possibility. Is that cover? It is not. What about here? Also not cover. Let's just have you go on Overwatch then, Olakaton. Nice health totals on Olakaton. She's got five base health. That's pretty good for a starter. Alright, so we have one sectoid who I have to assume is going to be on Overwatch. Let's try and pull that out without triggering it. Or at least get eyes on the enemy. Moving to Overwatch. No dice. It's a Yeva. This okay. should be reasonably safe. No vision, huh? All right, let's get you on Overwatch now. then. On the move. Alakatan, we want you to cover your friend there. Moving we want to make sure nobody tries to sneak around our corner here. We don't want anybody slipping up our six because we don't we don't roll that way. I mean, not to say there's anything wrong with the occasional ass play. I'm just saying that's uh, it's not really our forte, not really our thing. Got it if you, you know, if you're into that, hey, bully. Go for it, baby. Whatever makes you happy. Just, uh, you know, I'd prefer to not have an alien in my butt. Affirmative. 
Feeling in my butt would be a great name for an album. Got it sort of like a kind of a. How did could there possibly be an alien behind us? That makes absolutely no sense. There is no way there is an alien behind us. There's something out there. Well, the according to the HUD, there's an alien behind us, but I literally don't know how that could be possible, unless they came up over one of the railings. Maybe they slipped over the side. We should probably look into that, but I think actually the more important task is going to be to eliminate what's in front of us, and then we'll worry about our six later. If we dash down there, we're absolutely gonna we're absolutely gonna trigger aliens. Unfortunately, I'm not sure we have a better better way to come at this one. We're all crabbed up here. He's going to be back on that back corner. That's exactly what they're doing. The aliens are doing their patented maneuver, which is why I despise this map so very much. They always do this. We're going to have to take the overwatch and just hope we don't get shot. Yep, there it is. We got lucky. So Hisayeva should have a very good shot at this guy because he should be flanked. The guy's got one friggin' health left. And that's exactly what they were trying to do, was clever girl us back into that other pod. Again, not any kind of surprise. 85%. Do not miss this. Alright, nicely done. That's alright, we got you covered, baby. We got you back. Don't worry, your team's got you taken care of. We're in this for the species, we're pulling together. Also, we gotta get down here quickly while these uh, other aliens are not on Overwatch. 21% is honestly not worth it. We are gonna steady our weapon. Now, we do need somebody down there with some overwatch just way. to sort of gently discourage that alien from advancing on us. 25% again is not good enough, so we will put the overwatch into effect. Gonna bring Olotkin forward, get her some overwatch as well. Yuna, I think we dash you. We gotta get some more troopers up in a support position up front here. And see how alien reacts. Okay, he's getting mine merged from someone who's very, very far away. These aliens are going to make us dash up here. I absolutely know they're going to. So they can get cheap overwatch. Got a lot of heat on me. Uh, that's unfortunate. Guys, only in half cover. I wouldn't be surprised to see this alien shoot at that same unit. Yep. Aliens are very much more in the new build. Very much more focused on uh, sort of volume of fire activities. They will take, if they have a trooper who's badly exposed, they'll take a greater number of shots at him. They used to spread their, uh... Speaking of not fantastic shots, that was terrible. Free air, what do you got, buddy? Still, fuck all, effectively. But, uh, what, as I was saying, the aliens, if they have a trooper who's in sort of a less desirable position, they will tend to concentrate their fire on him. We're gonna have to throw a grenade here. I'm actually not even sure if this is gonna do damage. Our best bet may be to go for the flashbang here, actually. Probably our best bet, actually, on that one would have been to just reload so that we had a trooper up there with some bullets. That would have likely been a, a solid idea. With nobody on Overwatch, I don't relish the thought of advancing. This guy can see nothing. We're going to get him on Overwatch. I think we may have to cover up with another flashbang here. Let's see what uh, Free Air can do. 25% is still just not good enough. But unless we can get a grenade kill here, which we can't throw one that far. It's going to be flashbang then. We've got to disorient this little fella. Got to keep our troopers safe. Alright, so we've got both of those guys flashbangs, which means they should not be able to hit the broad side of the barn. Why the broad side of a barn, by the way? I mean, barns are pretty goddamn big. Does it really matter if you're shooting at the broad side of a barn or the narrow side of a barn? I mean, if you're shooting in a barn and you can't hit it... You've got some pretty intrinsic marksmanship problems. I don't necessarily matter. I think it matters which specific side of the barn you happen to be shoot at. You're pretty much fucked either way. Uh, Lakatan's chances to hit are not good. I think we should put her on Overwatch. Again, just to discourage anybody from dropping down and flanking our very exposed trooper here. So more mine linking. That's fine. This guy is already disoriented. Even with the mine link, he's going to have a fuck-all chance to hit. Troopers burning some ammo there. That was not among our better shots in the history of the project, if we're going to be perfectly honest. What are you doing? Right, I was going to be very salty if that hit, because we did flashbang that guy. 
So Alakaton still has... You know what? This is probably about as good as we're going to do. Let's go ahead and take this shot. No dice. Shot failed to connect. We all saw it, my dear. You don't need to kind of... I would say boast about it, but you, you don't need to... Just keep it to yourself. Can you get... Yes. Alright, so we're just going to go straight up. It's grenade time. We can't afford to be dicking oh, around yeah. with these guys forever. And we can't run up there and, like, rush them, so... We got two damage from an AP grenade. That's frankly terrible. I don't suppose you could get one up there. Um, yeah, you can. We're gonna go for it. We gotta get kills somehow. We gotta start generating some deaths. On the plus side, this should do overflow damage. Or it could do no damage. No damage is equally likely. Zero damage is yeah, Ready to engage. not good. So we're gonna have him reload. Friere did steady his weapon, did he not? He did not. I don't suppose you can get a grenade up there this time, can you, free air? Nope. Well, why don't you just go ahead and steady the weapon this time, then, and we'll engage in a nice Mexican standoff. Overwatch, then, for Johnny Do Nothing. Guy has contributed exactly shit so far this mission. And by that, I mean he pooped himself. That's the shit I was referring to. I don't mean that he contributed nothing. I mean, he actually pooped himself at the beginning of the mission when he saw the first alien. Absolute horse shit. So, we may have a dead trooper here. Very lucky miss. We've got to get these guys dead. Alright, Olatkin, you got to do something. you got to give me something. Well, you're probably going to die anyway, so at this point... We may as well have you go whip that grenade at somebody before you go down. Can you drop it on this? Okay, you should be able to put it in this guy's pocket, right? Earn your future as an engineer here, Olatkin. Get a kill. We need some of these guys dead. There you go. That's how you're supposed to fucking start this shit off, Olakin. All right, now, if Friere steadied his weapon, 45% is acceptable. We're going to take it. That's a kill. So we're going to have one more alien up here. He's probably on Overwatch. Actually, he can't be on Overwatch because... Uh, he can't be on Overwatch. He mind-melded, so Overwatch should not even be in his potential repertoire. We're going to take advantage of a ramp of safety here. Location. The aliens made it work for them all last campaign. We're going to try and make it work for us this campaign. It's ramp of safety time, folks. We have to assume, or at least hope... I'm all over it. This guy may have a shot. Nope. Eh, let's overwatch then. Yes, we have troopers in the open, and yes, they are overwatching. You have a med kit? Yeah. Aye, aye, Commander. Might as well use it. We're going to need a medic eventually, so this will be good practice, I guess. Hey, quiet, you big baby. You're fine. Clearly, this guy bucking to be the new Justin Timberlake, or new Justin Bieber, rather. Just uh, the biggest douchebag in all of XCOM. He's also going to get himself shot. Can't believe he did not take the shot at the guy who has no cover. So the alien's tactics may have been improved somewhat, but they still occasionally make fairly questionable decisions. Well, let's go uh, over here to this cover, and we should be able to get the kill here. This is going to be almost, yeah, guaranteed. We can't miss here. And there we go. Good work out there, Strike. All right, so Operation Devil's Gaze, a success. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. You know, we've been over this a time or two, Dr. Valen, but I appreciate the friendly reminder. I mean, it has been a couple months, and I did spend most of that time drunk on vacation in, a, you know, on a beach in the South Pacific. So I suppose the reminders are somewhat merited. I, I drank a lot. Like a Lindsay Lohan-esque volume of liquor. Operations Devil's Gaze, though, a success. And I have to say, our first mission here on this run-through did go better than our first mission last time. Because I think we got somebody killed on our first mission last time. So, no losses here, just one person wounded. Commander to the research labs. Yes, yes, I'm sure there are any number of things that require my attention here at New XCOM headquarters deep in the darkest jungles of Nigeria. Welcome okay, to what XCOM HQ, Commander. You mean welcome back, I'm Bradford? Central Officer Bradford. Uh, My role in this project yeah. is twofold. Yeah, I'm oddly, Bradford, we've met before, sir. And keeping you briefed on the current situation. Well, Bradford let's not uh, focus on the bigger. Let's not pad ahead. our part, Bradford. Which, you keeping us briefed is for a, promotion a pretty Bradford. significant fucking we'll joke. You don't know the difference between a city and a desolate fucking wasteland in the middle of outback. So when you say your job is to keep me briefed, I mean. 
you better do the air quotes when you're when you're making that move because frankly it merits air quotes so what did we get? We got a tactical, a support, a weapons trooper, a scout sniper, and two... We got a lot of weapons troopers. Sort of like that. Would have liked another tactical. I would prefer to the an labs. assault trooper. To the of course, labs. we will send these ladies and gentlemen into the fires of Dr. Valen's resurrection protocols. Probably on our uh, on our next mission, they should be merged. We will immediately submit them. Not going to promote anybody yet or assign them tasks. We will submit them for Dr. Valen's tender ministrations. And next episode, we should see who pops out of the oven. So that will be interesting. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded. Yeah, I'm going to come start the research in a minute, Dr. V. We'll get started as soon as you give the Malarium alloys, commander. weapon fragments. We did not collect any meld on that mission, which is unfortunate. Would have liked our first mission to have had meld canisters, but no such luck. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee Again, the research. Again, we've met Dr. Valen. What the this hell? This is where all of X Remember, we worked together for almost two years last time place. the aliens invaded. We have already Thought begun analyzing the artifacts that maybe recovered from our first encounter me. with the aliens. We've had a number of Based conversations. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. Just like we did last with your time. Approval. We will begin research immediately. Did you suffer a blow to the head, Dr. Valen? Are you feeling okay? I mean, did somebody beat you about the head and shoulders with a shovel while I was on vacation? Uh, anyway, we're going straight up for Commander alien weaponry. Engineering. Commander. Commander. Yeah, I I'll be down to engineering in a minute. To put their own survival first, but every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. Yeah, it sure is, and every trooper we use is a research bonus for the aliens. So you know, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. Personally. I'd rather go the explodey method than the aliens get a bonus method, but that's just me. What do I know? I'm only your boss, Dr. Valen. Ah, Commander. Hey, Dr. Shen. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Yeah, Welcome to you were wondering because you thought I would actually never stop by, because you remember that I fucking hate you. Here. Dr. Shen, clearly the one person Speaking who does which, not have amnesia. Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Yeah. What does she send you schematics for, just out of curiosity? A shiv and a satellite? Okay, well, fantastic. So she sent you a hacksaw and uh, like a diagram that said chop off barrel of gun and then like a dotted line around the barrel where it shows you how to saw. I'm gonna assume, I mean, that's about the level of talent that you and your engineers have, Dr. Shen, so. Really looking forward to it taking you a week to build a stun gun again because goddamn, that was fun last time. We've still got some room to grow up here, but if we really want to expand our mm. facilities, we're going to have to start so our base the layout is not good. The deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. So let's build a satellite uplink. That's easily got to be among our first initial cash outlays. We've got to get Work that rolling. On their way to begin construction. I'll send word when the new facility is operational. I think we're going to have to build an access lift here because we need access to this steam tunnel. We're we're going to have to have the steam. And then we can put a uh, steam generator there. So our we only have two steam vents again. That kind of sucks. Our base layouts have not been particularly good. I do like the pre-excavated stuff on the top rows. We got lucky with what's already dug out, but we did not get particularly lucky with the locations of our power generating facilities. We're going to have a difficult time generating sufficient power to do everything we'll want to do. And we'll have to cross that hurdle when we come to it, I suppose. A little more building and buying to do. We are going to build a satellite. Among the first things I always build. We'll just go ahead and get that started. And that leaves us with 100 credits precisely. Could build a shiv, which is tempting, but uh, probably not going to do that. Do we have what it takes to build an officer training facility? I'm just, I'm just curious. Not even on the list yet. All right then. Well. Commander to mission control. Yeah, yeah, Commander yeah. Shut up, Magil. I swear to God, Magil Barrett. Who the fuck brought your voice control module from the old base to the new base? Because please, please, if you tell me who it is. I swear to Christ, I'm going to murder them in their fucking sleep. I'm going to come into their room while they sleep, and then I'm going to duct tape their mouth shut, and then I'm going to pinch their nostrils shut so they wake up, like, gasping and suffocating with partial sleep paralysis, all freaked out. Commander and when they open their control. eyes, yeah, yeah, you're Commander only encouraging me, Magil. When they open their eyes, I'm going to wait. Wait until they wake up and look so they can see that it's me who kills them. And they can see the smile on my face while I slit their fucking throat. Ah, uh, that person deserves to die. Actually, let's take a look at our aircraft while we're here. 
When selecting a specific jet within the hangar, uh -huh. you can choose to modify its current weapon. Oh no shit, Dr. Shan. Best serve our needs. I, I appreciate everyone just assuming that I've forgotten everything I learned in a two year campaign against the aliens in a matter of weeks that we were off between invasions. I really. I say I appreciate it, but I am, of course, being facetious. I don't appreciate it at all. Flight Officer Buck Rogers. Beady, beady, beady. Hey, Buck. Ah, fuck me. Yeah, at least we don't have Tweaky Commander on the team this time. Control. All right, so we got Flight Officer Buck Rogers. Who else have we got? Dead Stick Weiss. Okay, Flight Officer Dead Stick Weiss. You should never call a pilot Dead Stick. That's either really fucking mean or just a complete jinx. Officer Pyro Warrant. See, now that's a respectable nickname, Pyro. Uh, he was an X-Man, of course. Also, you know, just a generally quality name for someone who periodically makes the shit explode. That's uh, nothing wrong with that call sign. And Baja Gutierrez, because XCOM would be incomplete as a project without at least one grossly racially insensitive nickname. Welcome aboard, Baja Gutierrez. I'm sorry that you have to be the token victim of our hate crime, but them is the breaks, I guess. I mean, arguably, I could rename you again, but come on, let's let's face it, I'm not that sensual. I'm not that sensitive, so I'm just going to edit your loadout and give you Stingray missiles. We're going to have one ship armed with Stingrays just in case we come across something with a little heavier armor, like a fighter or maybe, a, heaven forbid, a fucking medium UFO, because we'd have zero chance of shooting that down, so... Commander to mission control. Yes, I know. Oh, God. Control. Magil Barrett, I swear to God I'm going to murder you. Are you happy now? I'm leaving mission control again. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. I'm just going to assume that Bradford drank so much liquor on his vacation that he has permanently damaged both his long and short-term memory and has no idea of any of the events that took place in our previous time together. Also, who the shit hired Bradford back for go around to? Is he is that like a union job? I mean, is that the deal? Can can we not get him out? Is he like juiced in with the union boss or something? That's got to be what it is. I mean, that's the only explanation. No pending requests. All right then. Well, I can not satellite launch a satellite cuz I only have one and it's already in orbit. Additional uplink required. I swear to God, I'm going to smash that magic. If, if it takes me the whole campaign, my one goal is going to be to smash the Magil Barrett voice synthesizer. That's really the only thing I hope to achieve. There's actually nothing useful you can do, right, Dr. Shen? Other than build a satellite. Yeah, okay. Just wanted to make sure, buddy. So, since you have nothing useful to do, then we're going to go ahead and hire some more troopers. Also, let's take a look and see what we've got. This guy's pretty... Oh, that guy's actually really good, apart from having abysmally low will. Reasonably high aim, fantastic foot speed, although all of our troopers should have excellent foot speed, um, given the fact that they get plus one mobility. And then immediately LeBlanc and Gruber there make a fucking liar out of me. Thanks a lot, gentlemen. Appreciate it. 60 aim is terrible. We have some troopers that have desperately low aim bonuses. How do you have a negative defense? Alright, well, this has got to be something that's new to the newest long war bill. Having a negative defense seems like a fucking horrific, terrifyingly bad gimping trait. Like, that's literally going to make you almost worthless. That's ruinously bad. Actually, our highest one is like a four. And we used to have like, like nines and tens. So maybe they just lowered that across the board. Could be, could be. We're going to hire some more soldiers because I have to say, I wasn't overly impressed by... Uh, Wow, soldiers also got vastly more expensive. Yeah, well, we're burning it all. So there goes all the cash right there. And with that taken care of, then, out of cash, mission complete, nothing else to do. I think we'll go ahead and wrap things up. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, um, this is the first in a series. So, of course, we'd appreciate your support for the continuing Long War campaign with a like down in the comments section. And if you'd like to see more of this run-through of Build 15, consider subscribing as well. We post new episodes every day. For now, however... Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again soon.